congratulations on the film. Um, I, I wanted to get into uh, how you prepared to, to uh, play the role of Ken Wilbur. Uh, did you study his philosophy? What did you know about him at the outset and, and how did you get into it? I didn't know too much. I'd read one book, uh, his Integral Life Theory, and I found it quite intellectual, quite heady. Um, and so when I got offered this, uh, you know, I just read the script and I just thought, oh my God, this is such a beautiful love story. And nine days later, we shot. So in those nine days, I disappeared. I, I went to the supermarket, bought a load of food and, and locked myself at home literally for nine days. I didn't go out. And um, I, I read Grace and Grit and that, you know, I love the script, but when I read the book, which really fleshes the script out, I, it, it just, it blew me away. And, and I was, I suddenly felt really honored to even be telling, you know, be part of this. Um, I, I did a lot of research on, on Ken, uh, watching YouTube videos, just sort of seeing how he, he talks and his intonations, but it was difficult because there's no real video or pictorial, very little of him when he was that age, when, when the event, when this relationship took place. So, and I was also watching uh, someone giving talks, which is different. You know, when you give a talk, you're in a different mode. So I, I realized at a certain point, I have to let that Ken go. I'm never gonna be, I'm never gonna do a pitch perfect Ken. I have to make this up. And that's, that's part of being an actor. So at the end of the day, it was more about staying true to the actual script and really listening to Sebastian, who was very close to Ken. And I will say with Ken, you know, I think Grace and Grit is his, his most accessible work. It's, it's a really incredible, incredibly beautiful book. And I urge everyone to, to read the book and of course, watch the movie. So obviously the key to the movie is the relationship between you and Mina Savari's character. Talk a little bit about how you two created that chemistry together. Is there a moment uh, filming this that um, kind of summed up your experience working with her on it? I mean, the, the end moment, really, because <clears throat> Sebastian shot quite chronologically. So when we met, Mina and I, we didn't have any rehearsal time. So we met as Ken and Trey and met. And, you know, uh, I think our journey as actors grew as we told the story. And so by the end of the movie, we shot the last scene where she passes. Actually, maybe I shouldn't say that, but we shot the last scene. And it was, um, I've never had a scene like that as an actor. It was so emotional and so I was so connected me and Mina were so connected and then Sebastian came in after the, the scene had cut and he he lay down on the bed with us and just grabbed us and held us and all three of us were in this honestly it was one of the most beautiful moments of my career we we're just in this realm of of just deep gratitude for for being able to tell this story and you know, Ken and Trey are just, they're heroes. They're really, their journey in this, in this film is so beautiful and should be an inspiration to so many people who unfortunately might have to go down this, this journey of, of cancer and illness. What is it that you hope that audiences take away from the film? That love is eternal and that love is not some, some simple, you know, walk off into the sunset, everything's going to be great. Real love is about getting your heart broken and broken and broken, but continuing on because you are in love and you'll go through hell with that person. To me, that's what real love is. And that's what I think this, this film explores and the book explores is their, their boundless love for each other. And that's not to say everything was great. They had these just moments of absolute despair and then moments of joy of hope followed by absolute despair. And to witness that and to, to know what they went through that's what real love is. And, and we need real love. We need stories about real love in this world right now. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, so finally, do you have a favorite scene? Uh, and if so, why? Um, it's maybe not my favorite scene in the film, but my favorite scene to shoot was in the, in the bar in Germany because in the script, it was like Sebastian and that Ken is, is terrified, joyous, depressed to start he's like so many different things and I was like how am I gonna how am I gonna be all these things and so I said to Sebastian I was like look I'm really nervous about this scene I don't know what to do to be honest I don't know how to get to what you want what you've written down in the script and it was a great moment because I'm not usually that vulnerable and I was I had to be vulnerable I had to say I don't know helped and he was just so amazing and he made that scene 
we had so much fun shooting that scene. And, and then, then I finally saw it and I, I love the scene. I love the scene for all those reasons, but it ended up not being as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that would be my scene. <laughs>